In this video, we're going to be having a look at custom Lovelace strategies to auto-populate your dashboards. Make sure you stick around and if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button below and keep an eye out for more videos. Hi, I'm Will from Will Surge Tech, and today we're going to be having a look at custom strategies. Now, custom strategies were introduced into Home Assistant in 2021.5, so back in May, and they basically allow people to auto-populate dashboards using a JavaScript, uh, which is a really cool way of doing things, and I can really see it kind of becoming big and working a bit like blueprints do with automations, but for your Lovelace dashboard. So that is really, really cool. So what is a strategy? Well, a strategy is basically a bit of JavaScript that will do some shenanigans and auto-populate your dashboard. Um, there aren't many out there. In fact, I can only find two. Uh, so we'll give those two a go. Um, uh, but hopefully more and more people will be able to create these. Personally, I'm not really a JavaScript developer, so I have no chance, uh, but this would be really cool if more, more and more people can develop them. Right, so the first one we've got is actually on the documentation, and it is a dashboard that will create, so it's a whole dashboard that will then create a Lovelace tab per room or area you've got. So to make this, we need to We need to create a new file. And uh, every time we're going to paste that in there and save it as demo strategy.js. And we're going to save it in our www folder. From here, we can then head into our home assistant in our configuration under dashboards and create a new dashboard. And then, if we open this dashboard, you can see obviously it's auto-populated with everything, but that's a bit messy. So we're going to start with an empty dashboard, take control, raw configuration editor. And what we want to do is add this bit of code here. Strategy, type, custom, my demo. And that will... And then we need our views to kind of be in a bracket. And that, in theory, when I close this, will auto-populate a new dashboard. Okay, so I don't know why it wouldn't exit, but here we are with a new dashboard. And every device, every entity that has been assigned an area will appear in that area. So obviously under Sonos Roam, I've got the three Roam things. And you can just scroll through these and see all of your entities. Now, naturally, it's a bit, you know, this is an offline sensor um, and it's appearing. So there's still kind of much progress that can be made um, to give you more customization as you would find in, for example, the Lovelace UI editor. Um, so looking forward to seeing that customization. But in the meantime, we can do some very simple things. For example, if we change this line here, 47, to Entity, and we refresh the page, then we end up with an Entity card for each one, rather than a button card. But for now, let's go back to Buttons. And there we have it, our Buttons for everything. Um, but, of course, that's not the only strategy out there. We've also got one from Paulus, who is, of course, the founder of Home Assistant, and this is his battery strategy. So this strategy will allow you to basically auto-populate a view in your Lovelace that um, will grab all the battery entities, which I think is really cool.
So that is in there. And then we want to copy this bit as a new view. So if we take it into a dashboard I've already got, for example, my overview dashboard, we create a new view. For auto battering, raw configuration editor, scroll to the bottom, and our view is here. Of course, we do need to tab it across and get rid of this comment. And then when that's saved, we can come out of here and in our auto populated battery, who do you want it? An auto populated battery entities cards. And there are, again, some settings that you can make, but this time you can actually make the settings in the configuration editor. So you can see that we're, we're getting somewhere. And that, of course, is to get rid of this line that doesn't have a graph because we want to see some graphs. And look at that. We've got a graph card for all our battery entities. So there we go. We have two new awesome Lovelace views. One is for our batteries. And one is automatically created with all our entities in their given room. Very, very cool. And we can really, if there's anyone out there who is good with JavaScript uh, and wants to try this out, I've left a link below to this developers page, which kind of shows you how to do it. Um, but it would be really, really cool if more and more people could start creating these so we can share them around and people can start auto-generating Lovelace views uh, based on other people's kind of designs, which would be really, really cool. So there we have it, two new Lovelace views auto-populated. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and click the bell icon to find out more about My Smart Tech and how you can build yourself the ultimate smart home.